Hey guys, Mario and Jacob here, and Hello. today we are going to be going over fantasy anime, the pros and cons, the good and bad, oh. <sighs> the sword arts, and the not sword arts. Mm. I might just interject there for a second that we will be making this sort of a, a, a series where we go yeah. over different genres and Definitely. discuss them per week, um, so... I get, we'll eventually get to all of them, but if you want us to do something in advance... Yeah, if you have any specific yeah. requests, please hit us up, let but us know. Essentially how this will run is we'll discuss some anime that we like that are good about it, or mm -hmm. anime that are bad in that particular genre, and we'll discuss other things, obviously. But you'll be able to get a, uh, a sort of realistic view of what anime we've watched and what we kind of recommend um, as part of that uh, genre. As we said a few segments ago, we are really, really focused on making sure that you know that we are the reviewers for you. Mm. We want to make sure that you know where we sit with how we review and where we sort of align our interests. Yeah. So let's go straight into it. What is the list to prompt us along? Okay. Um, well, the first anime, I don't know if you've watched, is the um, Ancient Magnus Bride. I have only Magus seen Bride. the ads for it on Crunchyroll before yeah. I bought Premium. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen a few of those ads. They were pretty cool, the I've heard that it was really good. I just didn't have time for it. I was just remembering the opening. It was yeah. Yeah, a really good opening. Um, but yeah, if, no one, if you haven't heard of it before, essentially what it's about is this girl um, who... is just like one of some powerful entity, I guess. Um, and this... This um, teacher, which is... I don't know exactly what he was. Um, some horned creature who kind of takes cool. her in from being sold off into slavery. Interesting. Kind of. um, and notice her as like a, a student of his. Um, there's a lot more to it. Obviously, my, my sort of uh, breakdown of it romantic. was... romantic. Yeah, it kind of is. My, my breakdown of it was kind of, um, I'd say, crap. So it doesn't do it too much justice, but it's a good anime. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't do a good. Have we got breakdown. a review on it? No, we don't actually. Ooh, maybe we should do. I that. need to do a review. I actually have something written, half written up for it, Ooh. but I haven't really gotten around to finishing it. Love it. It's unfortunate. I just don't have enough time. Too many, too many other projects happening. Yeah, we have a lot going on. Yeah. It is, you wouldn't even believe. <laughs> sort of, just most of the stuff that we're doing. Yeah. All right. Next up is everyone's favorite fairy tale. Yeah, I was right. Everyone's yeah. favorite fairy tale. Fairy tale is the best. Yeah, I, I just picked that as a fantasy anime. I think it does a pretty good justice. It's all about magic, which actually, before we get onto that that matter, I just forgot what I was trying to say with the, the ancient Magnus Pride. Now we just mentioned it. The magic that's used in that anime is really like old school sort of style. It's not like, like tomes these, and magic circles. Yeah, and stuff, stuff like that. It's more more old school and more. It feels like the more of the when they're using magic, it's like the birth place of magic where it started right. off, um, compared to fairy tale, which old is still magic. a good anime, but um, it's like more like. This anime is more fairy tale. Is more like oh, br dragon breath. Blah, 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 with this, with the other yeah. ones. Yeah, completely dragon different breath. how they do it, but they do it in, in good ways. Yeah, but um, well, when when you said we're going to be breaking down fantasy anime, I immediately jumped to fairy tale because mm. I think it's it's sort of, it's it sort of breaks anime. everything yeah. down exactly. Like when I go into fantasy as a long time D and D player, I love D and D, and that's what I love fantasy for is. The world building, the characters, and the action sequences. Mm -hmm. The story is important, but it's not the most important thing to me. As long as there's good world building, which Fairy Tale definitely has. Yeah. Good characters. I mean, it's Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale is incredible. Yeah. I, 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 I feel, love the main cast of Fairy Tale. I feel like they they delve into each character just enough that you get some sort of idea about them, but not too much that it becomes boring. Um yeah. which is really it's, hard to pull off. And doing that with side characters is really cool. Like yeah. you put it have know, a lot of side characters. Yeah, you know that. everyone in the guild. Yeah. And what they can oh, do and, other and guilds why too. they're there. In other yeah. guilds too, yeah. But you still have that core cast that you're connected to. Yeah. And third in my little list of things that Ah, oh, paramount for fantasy anime. Action. 
Mm. And boy, does fairy tale have action from that first episode where Natsu wipes out a huge chunk of the town fighting the fake salamander. I feel, I feel oh, like, oh the, boy, I feel like the action in fairy tale is a bit too much. Like here's all the like crappy wizards. Like he, they just line up a whole bunch of things yeah. that he can just plow down, and then you actually finally get to a boss battle where you and the boss battle is like. Where, where it actually is really oh, yeah. interesting, yeah. Like, like watching the Dragon Slayers fight in the tournament. Mm. Oh, man. The light and dark oh. dragon vest. <laughs> that was so good. Shout yeah. out to Michael Jones, voice actor for the dark Dragon Slayer. Oh, I, I listened to the Japanese version because <sighs> I'm a purist. <laughs> Dubs all the way. I'm a sub purist. Dubs all the way. Oh, no. Sub it. <laughs> sub is the purest form of anime. We're going to be having a discussion about that soon. I just know it. People will just be like, oh, no, Dubs better. No, Sub's better. The sub are dull gangs. Man, I, I am a practical, simple man. Oh, I okay. like my things dubbed. No. Okay. <laughs> well, no, we're moving on from that topic before I get angry. Um, the next um, anime I, w- I wanted to point out for being a pretty decent fantasy anime, um, Log Horizon. Yes, Log Horizon. Yeah, it is a mixture of game, like the gaming sort of genre and yeah, um, isekai. Yeah, isekai. Uh, sort of. Yeah, yeah, isekai. Yeah, because I just got to remember, it's a person brought into a, ma- a fantasy world. In which well, they were. I, I just want to get out before we go any further and say that isekai is garbage. Okay. And is like the worst part of fantasy anime, but Log Horizon does it well. Yeah, and and the other one, <laughs> there's a couple good ones. You just you just just completely bulldozing all these decent <laughs> anime. Jesus Christ. Okay, um, yeah, Log Horizon does it really well. The the way they discuss the characters and actually bring up really good points of how the gaming world um, and how they how they're meant to fit into it. How the economics work with it when all these people are brought into the situation and how to make a life out of something that's completely abnormal and crazy like there were people in the streets in the anime going oh what what i do like yeah no people just who used to live a normal life in japan didn't understand what was going on and they brought that across they explained that yeah log horizon is fascinating in that way and i watched to, to skip ahead a little bit, mm. I watched Log Horizon after watching the whole first season of Sword Art. Mm. And watching Log Horizon made me go, Sword Art wasn't that good. <laughs> oh, but yeah, it's just not that good. Yeah. Oh, but we'll get into that in a second. We're but, We're but Log, ahead. Log Horizon did some amazing things with the psychological toll yeah. and the politics was good. Adaptation. They, they brought a lot of realistic sort of things into the gaming well that that these characters had to sort of um explore and explain mm. and shiro um our main uh sort of dude was really um i liked him as a character he kind of reminds me of myself <laughs> sort of. well actually in that vein quick shout out to gate which i think is a really good fantasy anime as oh well, yeah yes because yes. they do exactly that of delving into the politics and the world changing effects of a fantasy mm. collision. I feel. I feel. I feel if we're gonna bring up that the the better one would be Log Horizon in that regard. Oh, definitely. Um, but while, Gate, while we're talking about Log Horizon, I think it would be yeah, it's relevant. Crazy um, not to mention Gate for doing a very similar thing. Gate does a yeah, pretty decent job with with that. Um, there's some letdown points with it, but it's a pretty sure. decent, pretty you decent anime. Get it perfect. Yeah, never get it perfect. It, 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 that's a, that's a side of anime, just how it is. Um, another um, anime that I really like. Um, mm-hmm. I think we've done yeah, Overlord. Uh, yeah, we did a review on it. Overlord. Overlord. Uh, oh, the best. Yeah, it's just really good anime. Just uh, I can't really fault too many things about it. Just some sections I think are too brutal in later seasons. See, and... uh, I actually love the brutality of some of the later seasons. But that's it. It's just a personal thing. You, you oh, guys definitely. may like you, it a bit you more. I'm not, I'm not very, giving. Yeah. You're very clear about the fact that you yeah. don't come to anime for gore and violence. Yeah. But I'm not going to do. downgrade any anime because of it. It's no, just definitely not. not a personal preference, but it's in there. And the way they do it, it depends on how they do it that I'll say it's good or bad. I think Overlord is the best look into a powerful supervillain that mm. we've ever really seen in Anti-hero? Anime. Yeah. Really? Like, yeah. He, he's just... He's smart. He knows everything he's going to do. He's ridiculously oh. overpowered. And he uses it in... <laughs> 
a really interesting way. I wouldn't... Like, with his command structure yeah. that he has in the later seasons. Yeah, yeah fascinating i wouldn't say he knows everything he's gonna do he sort of wings it half the time and but, lays but it that, to his... that comes with a lot of the power that yeah. he's given but he, it wasn't unearned yeah but like it, it's sort of he sort of just it's like yes i know what your plan is <laughs> Malonga someone just like oh what plan <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah some you're... excellent comedy moments yeah the pretty which is pretty good but that, that's another one that sort of hits my three main marks of world building character and action mm. because boy the action isn't always there but when it is oh it shines okay so now let's talk about some bad points about fantasy anime yes which need, it just needs to be brought up everyone will probably point out to be done um sao as one of the most terrible fantasy anime and we hate on it majority so of many people family. hate on it every every reviewer i think i've seen hates on sao um, sao so is responsible for me getting back into anime yeah so it's not i see people i don't know why it's such a big issue with people for it i think because it was such a strong first season Mm. that was then followed up by the entire premise of the first season was stolen at the end of like haha it was all a funny joke you were never going to die there was no threat blah well, I hated the, how the first season ended. It felt so anticlimactic because they were trying to get up to the final level and it's just yeah. like, oh yeah, we're just going to end it here. What? Yeah. No! And then it's like, wow, you're so good at video games that we're going to send you into another Haywire video game. Wow! Well, it wasn't that to save his, um, his, his waifu? Yeah, but who cares? <laughs> like, it's some person you met on the internet. It's probably a dude. Oh. So uh, let's be fair. There's a girl. It, it's confirmed. I forget which rule of the internet it is but all women on the internet are fbi agents <laughs> it is true prove me wrong but uh, 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 the, the let me just let me just say anime chat reviews does not go with jacob on these views <laughs> these are my personal views there is his personal you can views find my uh my podcast over on info wars <laughs> info if you really wars. want to know the truth <laughs> Anyways, I think Sword oh Art had a really strong first season, which is why the hate really comes in. Yeah. Because the following seasons were either the same and not as good, or just ultimately uninspired. It definitely went downhill. And but, it yeah. delved into Kirito in ways that we didn't need, that mm. made him a worse protagonist. So that's why people kind of think that's it's bad. And yeah. it's just, yeah. It's too much of a good thing. Or having something successful so immediately that you can't quite pinpoint why mm. it's successful before you've made an iteration. So, if you're so w- it's a studio misstep. Yeah. So if you're going to watch it, just watch season one. Season one is amazing. They'll get you through. It'll be decent. And it then got me back into stop. anime. Yeah. Like, it made me start watching anime religiously after SAO yeah. 1 came out. Some points I wanted to bring up when it comes to the bad side of anime, which people might think is a plus or a negative. This just depends. Um, with fantasy, sorry. Um, character development, I don't feel is... Depending on the anime, there, there, there are anime out there that will delve into that, but you'll see a large selection of it where it's just like, you are overpowered. You you are very smart, yet you are an idiot. Yes. And Hello, I am the god of this world. Yeah. I just came in from the sky and yeah. I know everything. Yeah. I'm immediately the best tactician. And I have all the best magic, even when I don't know what I'm And a harem. <laughs> yeah, it's like... And a harem women. You're a walking ex machina. There's nothing interesting about yeah. you. So, the character, so there's no character development to have there yet, unless you have a side characters that develop with that. And um, it it's starting... I've started seeing more and more anime like that. And I don't know why that is the case. Well, you but... have shows like Legend of Grimgar, which are very much not in the hero's favor. Right, yeah. Um, uh, actually, I don't think it necessarily qualifies as fantasy, but mm. you have a similar issue with the JoJo's franchise. Okay, yeah. Because all the, all the JoJo's are like, I'm a walking ex machina. My stand can solve everything. <laughs> and the most interesting people are the people around them. Yeah. Which is a shame because we are seeing more anime like that. Where it's just like, hi, I'm the guy who looks exactly like the guy that you watched in the well, last anime. And what was it funny? It was funny. Uh, I think we were on an earlier discussion or another discussion. I think we had... No, 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 no. 
It was a review. Death March to the Power of yes. World, yes. Uh, world Rhapsody. I, I, even on the thumbnail, I just got the character, the same character, and I chopped off a whole bunch of heads from different characters, and they all look the same. Yep. They're all the same. Death people. March guy looks like Kirito. Oh, it was, it was terrible. And Everyone looks like Kirito. Even like, what was it? The, this anime that I watched recently, it came out um, last... Ragnarok? Uh, the Master of Ragnarok and the, blessing, the, and the Blesser of Energar. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, the camera just got, or the card got full. Okay, yeah, as we, we were discussing, <laughs> as we were just about to discuss, uh, the Master of Ragnarok and the Blesser of Energar. One of the crappiest fantasy animes I've watched this year. I couldn't even bring myself to watch it. I saw the thumbnail for it and uh, went, I've seen you before. I've at least it. three times. Uh, I decided to actually watch it because I watch everything. And, uh... I couldn't, like, I was just, like, struggling. The first episode, I struggled to watch it because it was so, uh, like, it was shit. I'm sorry to say. I probably wouldn't say it's, like, like the worst I've ever seen, but it was pretty bad and just for its generality and the way the characters were done and its childishness. Uninspired, yeah. rushed, a clear cash grab it for kinda, all the genre. It kind of just felt like like maybe a 10 year old or something wrote it <laughs> and then then some adults got a hand of it put some um more adult sort of themes into it and there you are i mean is that not how you make a rushed money grabbing anime i it's guess like, hey what are the masses like uh they seem to like this uh this guy falls into a world and is suddenly the best and everyone loves him yes all right we'll do that yeah see yeah because he comes from an old world and then he has a ha instantly has a harem. Woo, harems. Yeah. Ugh. And he's like the patriarch leader. Somehow just becomes a patriarch leader. Ugh, at least in ReZero, he worked for his harem. Yeah. And he worked hard oh. for those creepy little colored haired girls that terrify me and, and haunt my dreams. Uh, 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 let's not discuss that point. Rumor Ram are um, <laughs> the children of uh, the, 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 the bays or the babes. <laughs> they scare me. Of the... um. Just, just shut up. <laughs> don't, don't talk about them because people will hate us for it. God damn. But yeah, that was just a bad anime. Not, 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 not Razor. Not Razor. Razor is great. The master, the master. It's just, it's just a, such a dumb name too. The master of Ragnarok and the blesser of the Energar. What the hell? They Energon just talk... is from Transformers. I say again. Well, this en Energar. And and her jar. In a jar. In a jar. This is it's from from Norse mythology. They've taken all this from. They took all these concepts from in Norse. A in a jar. Yes. In a jar. They took all these concepts from Norse mythology out of it because it's in there. It's in the anime. Someone who identifies as a Viking, I find that but very see, offensive. But see, see what they've done, right? Is they got all these points and then they dumbed it down as much as possible, and that's what made it. Sh so, because I know all this stuff about Norse mythology and like Norse Greek mythology, mythology is amazing. All this the Vol song, stuff. everything yeah. like that, you should definitely read if you're into crazy, dark, wild fantasy. Yeah. But if you're if you're a creator out there, if you're going to create a manga or an anime or whatever, and you go, let me take from like Greek mythology sort of stuff, do your research on it. Just do some research on it and actually make conjugate a muggy, something properly. Yeah. Not a Ragnarok. Yeah. Because oh my gosh, is Muggy the Labyrinth one of Pretty, pretty the decent. best mythology-based animes. Well, I even, I even have little um things up there for it. Yeah, I love I it mean, so much. Aladdin and Sinbad. I mean, Sinbad got his own spin-off because he was that cool. Yeah, Sinbad is just Sinbad's the man. The best. <laughs> but um, I guess that kind of puts our topic to a close there. There's yeah. probably there's probably more we can discuss about that, which we can just do in the comments below. But if you have any sort of um other genres you want us to get to straight away then we'll do so if not just continue watching and each week you'll get a new um episode on the genre and what's good what good anime are part of it and what bad anime about it and this is going to be fun and if you guys want more from the fantasy side hit us up we'll do a part two because there's so much more to talk about mm -hmm. and that stands for all of our upcoming topic discussions it's gonna be crazy fun cool. anyways guys throw your uh, like mario said Throw your suggestions in the comments below, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Peace.